Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the default weather app in iOS 7. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it here. You guys can see the new redesigned icon right there. So we'll go ahead and open it on up here. And it's going to have that same light, elegant UI that is iOS 7. It's very smooth. It looks fantastic. So here we are. I'm currently on the current location tab or page inside the weather app here. You can see I have the hourly forecast right there and I can keep scrolling over and then I have the obviously at the very top I have the current temperature and the current uh, conditions at the bottom you can see they have like a day overview so you can see the weather for the upcoming days I can see Thursday through Monday right now now if I swipe to the left I can see another town that I added in or another city I added in my hometown so I can always see the weather and what's going on there it looks like they're actually having a little bit better of a day and they at least have the sun out now if you look at the bottom right of the screen there's an icon there if you press it it's going to bring you to this overview screen where you can change units from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius and then you can also add a city so let's go ahead and add a city right now we're gonna add in Philadelphia search for it here and we'll add it so now it's on my list of weather locations so if I'm in Center County I can just swipe to the right swipe or swipe to the left rather and I can look at the Philadelphia weather um, what's cool is if you actually pinch in you're gonna be able to bring up all three of them just like this you don't actually need to press that icon in the bottom right you just pinch in the middle of the screen and pinch it like your fingers together and you get this screen which I really like I like the overview screen I, I don't know why it's just it, it's very like uh, it's eye candy really um, but this is the default weather app guys there's not much more it is powered by Yahoo still and I know Yahoo has a standalone app that was very nice on iOS 6 um, I have not downloaded it on this phone because I actually love the weather app that comes with it so that's gonna wrap up this video guys if you have any questions or comments for me please leave them down below I'll be sure to respond to you you guys can also follow me on Twitter at TIP underscore Matt you guys have an awesome day and as always peace